Today on MTG Unpacked, it's pack battle time again. We have Innistrad Midnight Hunt versus Innistrad Crimson Vow. So getting stuck into some new boxes. However, we will not be consuming every pack in here. We'll just be grabbing five. So I'm gonna go for the middle on this one. Grab five here. And then Crimson Vow actually has an unfair advantage because it has a box topper. So we I don't think it's fair to count the value of the box topper. But we will definitely crack that open later in the video. And let's again go for the five in the middle. Just to make it somewhat fair. And we will consume the rest in future videos. Alright, so let's get underway here in Estrada Midnight Hunt and leave your predictions in the comments below which set you think will get the best pulls. Starting off with a list pull, no, it's a total troll card. Alright, this one, one of the vampires, can't remember which one, we have Voldaren Stinger along with Get that in focus. We've got an island, Gavany Silversmith, Cathar Commando, Sun Gold Barrage, Obsessive Astronomer, Firmament Sage, Lunark Veteran, and I will not be flipping cards. There are so many flippy cards in these sets, it's unreal. Outland Liberator, Tavern Ruffian, Bird Admirer, and Light Up the Night is not going to cut it, I'm afraid. Foil, Burly, Breaker, and that is it. Okay, that's a bit uninspiring, but Crimson Vow swooping in like a bat to show us how it's done with a list pull. Here we go from Urza's Sneak Attack. Holy cow. I think this one is actually sleeve worthy and might have won it for Crimson Vow right off the bat. I could be mistaken about that, but I don't think so. Okay, so this dude is having a blast. Who is it? Blood-soaked Reveler. Along with a mountain. Unhallowed Phalanx. Aim for the head. Undying Malice. Rot-tide Gargantua. Parasitic Grasp for the Uncommons. Circle of Confinement. Restless Bloodseeker. Belligerent Guest. Skulking Killer. And a mythic. We've got Averbruck Caretaker. And on the other side, we have Hollow Henge Huntmaster. All right. And a foil Radiant Grace. And on the other side, let's take a look at that. Radiant Restraints. Okay, so grabbing a sleeve here. All right. So I think it was, yeah, that's from. Crimson Vow, we'll keep those over that side. All right, Midnight Hunt. Let's see something crazy here, please. And we've got a forest. Okay, that's not too crazy. Another forest. Thraben Exorcism, Locked in the Cemetery, Duress. Olivia's Midnight Ambush, Brood Weaver for the Uncommons, Dryad's Revival. Bird Admirer, Harvest Tide Infiltrator, Dawnheart Rejuvenator, and Denik Pious Apprentice. And because he's a rare, let's flip him around. We've got Denik Pious Apparition on the other side. Foil, Harvest Tide, Sentry, and nothing from the list there. Okay, Crimson Vow, clearly in the lead. Let's see if it can increase that lead even further. What am I looking at here? That looks awesome, like a gloomy landscape scene. We have Sundown Pass, along with an island, Piercing Light, Sagada's Imprisonment, Unholy Efficient, Travelling Minister, Skull Scarb for the Uncommons, Fell Stinger, Archgool of Thraben, Restless Bloodseeker, Falconrath Cel Celebrants, and Creepy Puppeteer is the rare foil gluttonous guest and a magic minigame strictly better. Okay, that is not good. On to Crimson Vow. 
That's Shri Wait. No, back to Midnight Hunt. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So we had Crimson Vow. All right, so what is it going to be? Oh, we have Faithless Looting from the list. Midnight Hunt coming out swinging here. And this is... I forget the name of the card. Sarath the Viper's Fang. Along with an island. Startle. Component Collector. Unblinking Observer. Nibblegast Intruder. Dissipate. Ambitious Farmhand. Harvest Tide Infiltrator. Village Watch. And Curse of Obsession is the rare. Why are we out of focus? Focusing on the Vampire Lady, I guess. A Dire Strain Rampage. Foil Stuffed Bear. Yes, that's a uh, bit of a uh, metaphor there, I think. Innistrad Midnight Hunt is stuffed well and truly at this rate. Uh, here we have the Vampire Wedding Party. What is that? Olivia's Attendance, pretty much. And a Plains. Griff Rider, Parish Blade Trainee. There's a tongue twister. Adamant Will. Dawnheart Geist, Fleeting Spirit, Fearful Villager, Lantern Bearer, Blood Craze Socialite, Markov Purifier, and Earth Tormented Prophet. This set is tormenting us, I swear. Foil Cruel Witness, and that is that. Okay, now we go back to Midnight Hunt. How is it going to beat Crimson Vow? I have no idea. This guy is uh, trapped in the cemetery and I think there's some spooky stuff behind him. You don't want to look at that too closely. Locked in the cemetery. And we have a Plains. Silver Bolt. Abandon the Post. Lambholt Harrier. Pax Betrayal. Bounding Wolf. Jewel Craft Trainer for the Uncommons, Loyal Griff, Fangblade Brigand, Gale Drifter, and Briar Bridge Tracker for the Rare Foil. Hungry for more, yes, we are hungry for more pools, and what is the list, really? They're gonna do that to us. Okay, Crimson Vow. Save us from that awful Midnight Hunt. Which of these sets is your favourite, actually? I'm curious if you like the more werewolf theme or the vampire theme. Even though both have a bit of each. We have Markov Purifier and a Swampy. Persistent Specimen, Mind Leech Ghoul, Doomed Dissenter, Diagraph Scavenger, Undead Butler, some awesome artwork there. Heroes Downfall, Innocent Traveller, Gluttonous Guest, and Dorothea Vengeful Victim. And it's a rare, so we're going to flip it around into Dorothea's Retribution. That looks hideous. And Blood Vial Purveyor, not a flip card. Foil Crawling Infestation, and nothing from the list there. Okay. Midnight Hunt, lad, you've got to get your act together. Is this a list pool or a troll card? Troll card, that is not what I was looking for. Oh dear. Okay, so this, is that one of the Cathars? We have Sun Gold Sentinel and a Foil Swamp, very tasty. Mounted Dread Knight. Vampire Interloper, Bat Whisperer, Fading Hope, Field of Ruin, Morning Patrol, Tyler's Hauler, a lot of flip cards here, Kessig Naturalist, Dawnheart Wardens, and what's it going to be? Reckless Storm Seeker. Really? Okay then. And a Storm Charged Slasher, along with a Foil Gavany Trapper. Okay, Crimson Vow, show us how it's done, and then we'll get into the uh, box topper over there. So this guy, <laughs> this is that frog, isn't it? The uh, legendary frog, I forget the name. Um, Grolnok the Omnivore. And we also get a Foil Plains. 
along with Heron of Hope, Heron Blessed, Geist, Nebulgast, Beguiled, Supernatural Rescue, Arm the Cathars for the Uncommons, Angelic Quartermaster, Weaver of Blossoms, Wolfkin Outcast, Unholy Officiant, and Olivia's Attendants for the Rare. Okay, that's not too crazy. Foil, Kessig Flame Breather. And Boiling Blood from the list. And that is some creepy and awesome artwork at the same time. Okay, so let's finish off here with the box topper. Hopefully I won't destroy it as I get into it. That has been known to happen the way they attach these. Okay, looks like we've got some roller marks on there. And we do have a bit of a Pringling action. It is Dr. John Seward. Okay, so that is not going to add to the value by any stretch. But there we have it. An epic battle. I'm crowning Crimson Val the winner here. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.